Today we are here with Rachel Hernandez from the women's golf team for our DigiCopy UW Stout Athlete of the Week for Week 6. So Rachel, why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Um, I'm a junior in the Golf Enterprise Management Program and I am from Madison, Wisconsin. Cool, so how did you get started with golf? Um, I started playing golf when I was probably around three with my dad putting me in lessons and I used to actually hate it. Oh. And so around freshman year of high school is when I started to like it. Oh, cool. Just taking it a little bit more seriously? or? Yep, definitely. Congrats to you and the team for winning the conference tournament this past weekend. Why don't you walk us through each day? Um, the first day, it was really windy and cold, mm -hmm. and so everybody struggled. No one broke 80 in the field at all. And so after the first day, we were in third place. We just tried to make it, make do what we had. Um, the second day, it was better weather in the morning for sure. And even though it was chillier in the morning, it got warmer throughout the day. And everyone seemed to have more focus, and people mm -hmm. were trying to shoot their best. And I was really proud of our number five golfer. She actually broke 80 for the first time. So it definitely helped us propel us up to second place that day. And then the third day, it was a little bit breezy in the morning and a little bit chillier, but mm -hmm. it still warmed up to be a perfect day. And everybody played their hardest, and it was really nice to see that. And on the last hole, like they all looked really excited, but I had no clue what was going on or where we stood. And when I finished, my coach was like, we won. And I was like perfect <laughs> so it worked out to be a great ending yeah. for us. What type of mindset did the team have to be in going to the last day knowing that you had to do your best? Um, honestly it's probably the best situation that we were coming from behind yeah. just because we have such a young team with a whole bunch of freshmen where we didn't feel the pressure at all to play our best. We mm -hmm. just like we had nothing to lose right now if we win that's great if we don't we were up there so it was just really important that everyone focused on their games and just played with confidence and not worried what went on around them with what Oshkosh was shooting and whatnot, and so it worked out to be positive at the end. Mm -hmm. You play second individually and posted better scores each day. What part of your game was better towards the end of the tournament? Um, for sure, definitely my driver. The first day was not my friend at all, and so I worked on on the range after we got done the first round for after we practiced, and it definitely helped to get my confidence back just working on that after the first round. And then for sure the last day on the front nine, my putting was pretty awesome. I couldn't miss a putt until the back nine when I started being more conservative after my coach told me just to make sure I'm not blasting them by. <laughs> and so, yeah, otherwise it was just playing consistent and making sure my swing felt good of what helped me a lot. Now you have over seven months to prepare for the national championship. Uh, how does your experience two years ago help you and your team prepare for the big stage? Um, it'll definitely help knowing what the atmosphere will be like. It'll mm -hmm. be such a fun atmosphere of being on the course pretty much the whole time you're there with practice rounds, walkthroughs, and then the comp competition part of it. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be definitely um, nice for me to help these freshmen like just relax and know it's like we don't expect you to shoot your best. Just play mm -hmm. your game and you'll be totally fine. And it's just going to be a great experience overall just for them to have, especially as freshmen. So it'll be a neat experience for yeah, everyone. Definitely. Well, thank you for joining us today, Rachel. Good luck with your preparations in the winter and good luck in the spring. Thank you. Yep.